I'm gonna put it to you simply. I want you to be our starting quarterback. And I'm talking from day one. If you work hard, you focus, and you commit, you're not only going to graduate here with a four-year degree, we're gonna win a national championship together. Look, guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O-line. Uh, without them, this opportunity wouldn't be possible. Hey, don't forget to thank your mom. Never forget to thank your mom. Mike, tell me where you're going to be signing. Actually, it's why I'm hiding in here. Well, I know you'll make the right choice. And if you need any advice, I'm always here. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, anytime. Actually, I've been meaning to run into you. Hello? Hello? Who's it going to be? Okay, okay. Oh. see me. Come in. I want you to be the first to know that Marcus Washington decommitted last night. And he's coming here. What? That doesn't make any sense. You said I was going to be the starter. He's the number one recruit in the country, son. And there's no guarantees in college football. I'm sorry. I'm not going anywhere. Bring him in. I'll win the job. Just wait. If you're the coach, how do you let five-star talent waste away on the bench for this long? No, no, no. Better question is, if you're a young five-star recruit, why do you stay with a coach that doesn't play? Because he's got something to prove. And to who? To that coaching staff, man. I mean, the same group of guys who spent the last four years telling him you're not good enough, you got to prove it to those guys. All right, gentlemen, like Coach and I always say, the second you step off this bus, you're on a business trip. So we got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. Me, you're the guy to get it done. Hey, Jojo. <laughs> you lose weight. I did. Yes. <laughs> Glad you noticed. Hey, boy. Game day, baby. Game day. Get in there. Whoa, hey. whoa, whoa, whoa. The event staff is around the corner, you see. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe. Go on in there. All right. Uh, this is for players and coaches only.
I'm here to play Florida State. What? The Seminoles, yeah. You? Okay. What's your name? That's me. That's you? Yeah. Well, I don't know who you are, but uh, go ahead. I'm the quarterback. What? Yeah. Uh, excuse me. You're the quarterback, right? Yeah. Well, don't look so surprised. Uh, it's my job to know the roster. I'm Taylor Bennett. I'm working the sidelines tonight. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna record them. Okay. All right. So we all know your situation tonight, but we really don't know much about you as a quarterback. How would you describe your style of play? Oh, um, well, I, oh man. Hey, what's up, man? I like to keep the defense guessing. You know, if there's a lane, I'll find it and go. Okay. Now, how about your personality? Or better yet, how would your teammates describe you? How would my teammates describe me? Yeah, were you intense? You were cutthroat, a great leader, a jokester? Give me something. You know what? I'm kind of a film junkie. I like to lead by example in that way, so... <laughs> people would joke that I was like a mini-me of the coach. <laughs> okay. Yo, Taylor. Hey, can I borrow him for a second? Oh, yeah. Cool. Wait, hold up. You're a Heisman voter, right? Hey, I'm coming for that award next year. Look out for me. Oh, I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen. You ready, right? Yeah, man. Yeah? Because winning the national championship means everything to me. All right, I made a promise to my brother. And since I can't throw the ball to myself, we need to be on the same page, you feel me? I got you, man. I got you. Pitch and catch. And you do that tonight, and we move on. All right, I just talked to Coach. He insists on going with a simplified game plan for you tonight. What do you think? Well, his thinking is we keep it simple, you don't get overwhelmed, and then we rely on the defense to do their part. Wait, hold on. Is this, is this a joke? All right, look, Coach just wants to put him in the best position to succeed. No, this ain't high school ball, man. All right, this is the semifinals. If we go out there and simplify, they're going to destroy us. Come on, this is crazy, right? Right? I need to prove to him I can handle this. Maybe playing it safe is the best option. Look, you don't have to prove anything, especially to him. Dude had you on the bench for four years, remember that? You need to wake up. There's a lot at stake right now for all of us. Even more so for Isaiah. So you don't take what he says personally. You're doing the right thing. Okay. All right. Have a good game. Outside, it's a rare Texas snowstorm, but we are indoors here at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. And tonight, it's the first of our college football playoff semifinal matchups. As we'll see the Florida State Seminoles Florida taking on the Florida Gators. Gators. What's up, bro? Good luck tonight. Uh, thanks. Hey, man, don't listen to the critics. You got all the talent in the world. Just go out there and put on a show. Thanks. It means a lot. All right, man. Hit me up when you get to the league. Yeah. The first snap of his college football career as the Gators start first and ten. They begin the drive with Jennings on the ground. 
And not the start he was hoping for there as he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. For the Gators, they are in search of their fourth national title in school history. They lifted the trophy for the first time back in 96, and then most recently they were champions in 2006 and again in 2008. Takes it in for a Gator touchdown. So make that one for next possession, this Florida Gator offense. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's coming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. Throwing on third and long. Jack, he sets to fight. That's caught inside the 20. And he gets this one inside the 15 just to... From the gun on third down. Jack, that's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he went at the age of 20. And that is really a gut-wrenching story, as you know. And you look back at their high school days, right here in Texas, just out. And that's caught inside the 35. And oh, at the end of it, he strips. Ball comes loose. And the defense will get their hands on it. Going the other way. It's not often the very man the second down. A very solid gain on that play. Now this throw caught left side. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40. But he's so much discipline, so much precision on the cuts. Not only that, but you sit down with him and you find out what an impressive young man he is for the amount of... Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And put it on the board. It's six. A touchdown. It's their clock. On first down. It's Jennings. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the third. down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Get this one across the 45 before he's brought. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Flush to his right. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. This stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Trying to lay one up deep. And the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he will score. Touchdown, Florida. On first and ten, Jack. Quick slam caught by Streets. A good pick up there. The 22 up against their own first stringers on the defensive side. So he has practiced for all four of those years against one of the best defenses in the country. He seems to be ready for this opportunity. And he'll go down, but not before getting this. To throw on second down. Jack. He'll let it go deep for streets. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, Florida. Isaiah Streets. His second touch. Players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Pulled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. In the field in a college football game, but you go back to his high school days, he's played in front of crowds. Maybe not quite this size, but it wasn't abnormal for them to have 15, 14 and 0 record. Threw for close to 4,700 yards, 37 touchdowns, just four interceptions. And he also chipped in 11 rushing touchdowns to boot. So it's not as if this. But he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown. How about that? Their quarterback. 30 second and eight. On second down, there's the option. And he lost the football. It's going the other way. Down the numbers. There he goes. 20, 10, and hold everything here. This one is not over yet. They return it for the Now it looks like he'll throw here. He'll buy some time right. And he's got some space here. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or up to the scoreboard and say, it doesn't matter either way. 
and that probably affected them on that play and they end up giving up one more score. So on the strength of four touchdown passes in the first college start for their senior quarterback, the Florida Gators are moving on to play for a national championship on January 7th. Really proud of you. Thank you, sir. That was a gutsy performance out there tonight. You took us to a national championship when nobody, and I mean nobody, expected you to. And for what it's worth, I'm really glad you stayed four years ago. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, baby, we going to the chip. Whew. One more game, baby. We got this, man. Oh, yeah. Football is my life, man. But you got to stay grounded in what's important. So I got a little surprise for you. Isaiah! Ha-ha! <laughs> M, looking good, Emily. Oh, and I'm loving this hat. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Is that magenta? Fuchsia? What color is that? Okay, hey, I bet he'd probably be good at uh, off the board, huh? Yeah. Well, Emily has the best games. Okay. If you had a unicorn, would you want its mane to be purple or pink? Well. Hmm. Well, these are both tough, but good options. I think I'm gonna have to go with purple. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, look. You see, look, you don't you don't pick from the options given. Alright, the game is in the name. Off the board. Yeah, now nah, it's clicking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, look, if I had a unicorn, I'd have a mane that matches his horn. Silver. Mm -hmm. I'd go with Onyx. Ah, Onyx? <laughs> okay. I told you, she's a pro. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm Todd Atwood. I'm Emily's dad. Hi. Can I talk to you for a second? She's too shy to ask, but Emily wanted to know if you could do something for her in the national championship game. Yeah, of course. Anything. She wanted you to throw three touchdowns. Three? I thought I said four. Four touchdowns. Oh, <laughs> is, is that okay? Uh, well, four touchdowns is a lot. Uh, yeah, but how can you turn down this face? Look at that. But I'll see what I can do. Yes. Don't, don't worry. He'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's great to see you again. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Emily. You too. We're days away from the national championship game, and there is one big question on everyone's mind. Can lightning strike twice? Last week, we saw a quarterback with no game day experience lead his team to victory in the college football playoff semifinal. Kyle, is this kid good enough to win a championship? Nah. No, not at all. No, no, not that's no. it. But hold on. I don't think he has to be. And this, let me tell you what I mean. There is so much talent on that team on both sides of the ball. Manage the game. Don't make the big mistake. I think they have a real shot. I do. Kyle, we don't like managers of the game here at this table. Very boring, just like your shirt. I feel you, but I disagree. The team has a ton of talent, but they're going to need this dude to make some plays. They're not going to win if they hand the ball off 50 times. You two be nice. You, Peter Schrager, mm -hmm. do you think he'll rise to the challenge? I do, as, as long as the pressure doesn't get to him. Yeah, for real, and he's about to feel that pressure. Listen, there's a lot of weight on this dude's shoulders right now. He wins this game, he punches his ticket to the NFL. He loses, and psh, we'll see, I guess. And then if you're a coach, how do you handle this? Mm. What do you say to a kid that has so much to lose on that field? Hey, can I talk to you a minute? Yeah, sure, coach. 
You know, I know it's hard to shut out all the noise. It's a lot of pressure. The only thing that we can control is what's right in front of us. And what's right in front of us is a game of football. Same rules as always. So you got to take a step back. Right? You got to breathe it in. You find a way to appreciate this moment, this, this time with your teammates, take in the crowd. Man, you do that, and, and everything gets real quiet. All right? So breathe. Take it in. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I got you, Coach. Right. Yeah. Thanks. Go. Yeah. Yeah. We crown a champion tonight here at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara for the college football playoff national championship game. As we'll see the LSU Tigers taking on the Florida Gators. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to part one of my Madden 20 Face of the Franchise series. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop some new heat. Part two coming soon.